In the previous objective, you learned how to identify different types of structural pests. In this objective, you will learn how to conduct surveys to locate structural pests and to properly document the termite inspection for no more than two instructor assists. Conducting annual structural pest surveys are not only required, but they are very important. The damages caused by these pests, specifically termites, exceeds millions of dollars annually. They reduce or curb the activities before widespread infestations can occur. Statistically speaking, structural pests strike American homes more than fires every year. Early detection of these structural pests are essential in safeguarding government assets and minimizing structural damage to installation facilities. Annual termite surveys can detect active or potential infestations so that pest management can plan and implement IPM control methods to mitigate these pests before causing extensive damage to facilities. Lastly, they aid on-site planning for any management procedures that may be needed. We're now going to focus on the structural pest termites. Given the termite inspection form, you must survey and annotate every wooden installation facility annually in high infestation regions. You will also need to inspect every two years in regions where infestations are rare or not as prevalent. After this objective, you will be able to effectively identify and document structural pest activity before any substantial infestations or damages can occur. Given the scenario, termite inspection form and computer, conduct a virtual survey for structural pests with no more than two instructor assists. Now we'll demonstrate a termite survey using the described equipment. You will need a hard hat. This is used to protect your head in confined spaces. You will also need to use a probe. This is a screwdriver or pseudobot suitable piece of equipment that's used to investigate the wood. You will also need a flashlight. This is used to illuminate dark places. You will also need a hammer and this is used to sound the wood for potential damage. Lastly, you will need a termite inspection form and this will be used to annotate all the findings during your survey. So items for the visual inspection have been mentioned before, but they will be annotated on the termite inspection form as well as any findings for that, each facility. Some signs to look out for will be mud tubes. So you'll look for mud tubes outside and inside the building. The size of these mud tubes vary in thickness, can be the, as thick as a pencil, or, but can be larger. Swarmers, these are your reproductive termites, and these can be found indoors and outdoors. You'll also be looking for discarded wings that these swarmers leave behind. And these be left behind wherever the activity is prevalent. Buckling paint will also be noticed, and buckling paint is normally a sign of infestation. Also look out for small holes in wood. The termite need to pack their debris into these holes to retain moisture, so look out for the small holes. Damaged wood. Look out for damaged wood. Using your probing tool, probe weaker damaged wood areas that are susceptible to termite damage. Some examples include foundations, window sills, and walls near roof leaks. If you find damaged wood, you can also use your hammer to sound the wood. Sounding the wood consists of taking the hammer and striking the wooden surface to determine it have a solid, healthy ring. You can also use termite detection canines. These are commonly referred to as TDCs. These dogs have been used in a variety of pest management roles due to their strong sense of smells. And TDCs are specially trained dogs that are used to search for the scent of termites and alert their handler to the pest's location. 
Today, you learned how to properly conduct a survey for the structural pests. You also learned about the equipment and how to properly fill out the termite inspection form used during the structural pest survey. You have seen the signs to look out for when conducting a termite survey, such as mud tubes and damaged wood. You are now familiar with the various methods used to survey, such as probing, sounding, and termite detection canines. With this information, you are now able to conduct a structural pest survey for termites with no more than two instructor assists.